the idea was a celebration of soy. And um, the reason why I chose soy is because the government says oh, we should all be eating more beans because they're very much, they're really good for you and they're good for the environment, good for the planet. So after cooking a lot of bean dishes, I realised soon that um, soya beans are actually the queen of all beans because they are beans, so they're very good for you, but they come in such a massive variety of different textures of flavours, you know, and and also, which I didn't realise until I uh, started uh, looking at it, that I didn't know that endami beans had different nutritional properties to tempeh, which has got different nutri nutritional properties to tofu. Unbelievable, just by making it in a different way. Uh, so obviously, the um, the time um, was a, a challenge. Um, also, because you know, because you really had to get it finished, and and I was. Very, well, pretty, very nearly didn't finish. <laughs> he was, he was brilliant, and I feel really lucky that I've eaten some of the food that he has made. Not many people can say that. So he was all about. He said to us all at the end, Chinese food is amazing. So really, you don't really need to try too hard to change it because actually, it's already wonderful. It's already healthy. It's already packed full of flavour. I'll definitely do more Chinese recipes because they are so tasty and they're also fast um, and they're also healthy. So they fit within the curriculum of, you know, cooking from scratch and making healthy food uh, that, you know, that follows the Eat Well Guide.